President tweeting the Iran sanctions have officially been cast. These are the most biting sanctions ever imposed. And in November, they will ratchet up to yet another level. Anyone doing business with Iran will not be doing business with the United States. I am asking for world peace, nothing less. All right, so world peace, it's a lofty goal, might not be attainable, but the short-term goal is, and the message to Iran and our allies is clear, this president will not stand for a regime that promotes global terror, period. And if countries want to do business with Iran, then they will lose the U.S. market. This president cannot be any more decisive and clear on Iran, can he? Joining me now on the Daily Ledger, page 5B, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum, very crystal clear of the message to Iran is you better change your ways or there's going to be a world of hurt. And the message to the allies is, hey, follow our lead. But let's let's be honest here. Uh, the so-called allies, especially in Europe, support the JCPOA, the Iran nuke deal, because they see money in it. They want to keep the relations open with Iran because it means money to them, which is a very, very dangerous and short-sighted way to look at this. Graham, you're 100% right. Nobody, and I mean nobody on the planet, believes the JCPOA was a good deal in terms of limiting terrorism being exported by Iran, stopping Iran from going nuclear, stopping Iran from building nuclear missiles, and stopping them from exporting revolution. They loved the JCPOA, and they still love it because it's opening up enormous markets to them. The big question now, as we talked about a few few weeks ago on this show, Graham, is whether or not the uh, United Europe is going to be going for the dollar or going for the United States. They're not going to be able to do both. Either they do business with Iran or they do business with the United States. The choice is clear. Trump could not be any more unambiguous about it. They have to choose now. So far, a number of companies have pulled out, and that's why the Iranian economy is going sideways fast. And, and really, the Mullahs have a choice in, in Iran, and that is they can continue to pursue, their, pursue the uh, nuclear ambitions and the military uh, buildup. Or they can put their money into the economy. And I sense it's probably going to be into the military, which is going to put a huge strain on the Iranian people and probably continue these protests. And you also have to wonder, Barry, if there's going to be some sort of response uh, from Iran other than verbal. Uh, they're really right. limited in their responses, right? I mean, be economic, they don't have much to go there. Allies, oh, yeah. they only have a couple of allies. The only response I could see would be some sort of a military response. Well, you know, there's saber rattling all over the Gulf right now. They're sending patrol boats up to our ships and other ships. They haven't backed down with the Houthi rebels. Revolution uh, all around Saudi Arabia is being funded by Iran. Uh, revolution in Syria, Lebanon, uh, and the Gaza Strip is being funded by Iran. If anyone has any doubt about how bad Obama's deal is, simply look at what the United States government has done by tracing where the money we gave them has been spent. None of it went to the American, sorry, the Iranian people. It went to exporting revolution. I can't see that changing. They will shoot people down in the streets, just like they did during the Green Revolution when Obama did nothing yeah. to help the people in the streets. They have no qualms about slaughtering their own citizens yeah. and keeping the money for military export. I don't think that's going to change, Graham. By the way, uh, North Korea uh, is watching this, and the message to North Korea is, hey, rocket man, uh, you better watch out, because the same thing could happen to you very quickly. <laughs> very thanks.